If you're a place accumulator player, or any player for that matter, you'll need to get your bets on for the second race by five past one. That is the off time. It's a fillies and mares maiden plate over 1,200 metres. And at this time of recording on Friday, we all know that we record the show on Friday for Sunday. The only change in this race was number six, Iridescent. Kyle Stradham is the rider. But as we always say, take note of the changes, take note of the jockey changes as we get closer to race time before you take your bets. We only have one rerun, so a short little package here for you. And the rerun Devon and I singled out is the last run of number nine, Casa Rosado, when finishing second to Future Princess. Let's take a look at that effort and we'll come back to you. Sweet as goodbye on the left-hand side, Meziuna. Future Princess, now the red headgear starts to come alive down the centre. Casarizada, three lengths to make up. 200 to go and Future Princess now puts it together. Great Club Queen Casarizada is running on late on. Future Princess has a length to spare though. And Future Princess goes on by two. Casarizada second, third maybe Great Club Queen in behind these runners. I thought a very good effort from Casa Rosada. Casa Rosada Devon, this elusive fort filly for Garth Puller, Mr. and Mrs. Davis, and Ashton Aries, has only had the two runs in the province. They were both on the poly track. Uh, she really finished her race off beautifully last time. She moves on to the turf now. I do make her my first choice, but I've got a bit of value in the race. I, I thought number eight, Sting Ray for Glenn Cotson, the Red Ray filly for. Uh, Wayne Maybury and the Winters and Munsamis and the Cotson families. I think Stingray is slowly but surely starting to learn about racing and I believe that she's going to run a very good race. So my number's on nine from eight, but I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Warren, uh, my top four is numbers one, two, eight and nine. That is one Queen Mercury and two Indigo Fields, followed by numbers eight Stingray and nine Casa Rosada. I couldn't separate numbers eight and nine just to let you know. The reason why I've elected to go with number one Queen Mercury has received some solid betting support, is currently trading at 22 to 10 and the reason being she's got the experience under the belt, has placed twice over shorter. So if you want to take a place accumulator probably go light and include the one and two. For second, Indigo Fields, this horse is extremely well-bred and if I'm not mistaken, she was carded to run a few weeks ago and was scratched, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, Eye-catching jockey booking has a top rider aboard and also solid betting support at 2-1. to one. Touching on your horse number 8, I do believe that this could be a, a major player in this race, definitely one to watch, has excuses in the uh, last start. And then touching on number nine, Casa Rosada. Has good form lens-wise. The rider knows him extremely well. The stable's in form and there's no reason why this horse can't finish in the frame. Devon, before we wrap up the second race, which is the first leg of the place accumulator, just a thought from you on number five, Symmetry. Dennis Dreyer's horse, Sean Veal's going to ride. And why I ask you this is for two reasons. Because Symmetry seems to be improving every time she comes to the races. And, and finished sixth four lengths off Kitten's Adventure. Now, there's quite a few horses running at this meeting with that Kitten's Adventure form line, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that form line starts to work out. But would you include symmetry in your quartets? I must include in quartets, Warren. I've actually um, circled this horse out for fifth, so I've actually had five selections, but I've just given the top four. But I just get the feeling that this horse could be looking for a little bit further and will be running on strongly once again. Okay, that's race two. So we're moving along swiftly. Let's uh, crack on and go to the third race, which will be the first leg of the pick six, the big one. And we're looking forward to hearing from Devon if there are any bankers. 